everybody it's zero and i just want to take a quick moment and show you how i do my overlays using the luma stream browser source uh, i'm going to turn my camera off and this is what my background looks like if i go to properties and filter and i show you my filter and i turn my filter off you'll see that it's just luma stream source now if i put my filter back on you'll see that it's bubbles now what happens is you just plug your browser source in like you would normally and i use gifs any gifs will work so i'm using my bubbles one right now it was made for me but i'll show you another one just to show you how simple it is like here's another one i had stars so done look at that stars up there wow i really like it this is what i've been using the browser source for ever now with the luma overlays and i hope this helps you guys inspire more creativity from you and to make it your own and just in case you guys don't know how to get to your overlays in Luma Stream, you open up your app, go on over here to overlays. Uh, mine is always bright. I have it set to Luma bar, and then I have it set to width and height 100. That way it gives me the full screen. And then you copy your link right here, link copied. You open your OBS, whichever OBS you might use. Hi guys, it's me again. You click this little plus button right here you go to browser source you hit add source you'll want to name it like loom the stream or whatever you know what i mean blah 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 type you type type add source and what you do is you just copy in your loom source and now you got your square that you can then add your mask over I hope that explains everything. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm more than happy to help anybody. My name is Zeros High. I'm a co-founder over at Multi-Platform Gaming. I also am a stream coach and do a lot of work with streamers over the last four or five years. So just let me know if you need any help with anything.